It was about noon when Cole got to Crystal's house. She'd been working on a student film and had asked if he could help her with some of the special effects, mainly the monster mask. She had drawn out a design for it and emailed it to him a few days before to give him time to expound upon it and change what he thought could do with improvements. He had already worked most of it out in half-scale with clay and just needed to make a latex mold as the base using Crystal's face. As she was in fact starring as the monster, Ding Dong, went the doorbell. A few moments later Crystal answered the door. Hi, I'm glad you could come over. I was worried you had work. Quote, no, it's fine, called in sick, actually, quote, but they knew there was no time for chit-chat. They had a mask to make. Cole had brought the clay model, which he showed her. She was fine with the design and wanted to get right to the making of it. Cole got out his plaster supplies while Crystal pulled her hair back under a swim cap and they started the casting. They finished the plaster mold and broke it off and Cole began carving out the inside to match the model. It was an unusual way of getting results, but he liked the challenge. When he was finished, they decided to get some food. Cole left the plaster cast next to the bathroom sink and closed the bathroom window so the mosquitoes wouldn't get in, then headed out to get a burger with Crystal. It was dark when they got back so they parked in the garage. Cole was first to get out and enter the dimly lit house. He flipped on the switch in the living room and his Crystal walked in. He remembered that he'd left the latex supplies back at his place. He told her about it and said, Maybe it would be better if we finish this tomorrow. Quote, he walked down the hall to the bathroom where he'd left the plaster cast, rounded the corner and opened the door. It was dark so he flipped on the lights. Faintly, there were quick footsteps outside the window and just as a breeze from the open bathroom window ran across his face he looked down at the cast. It was closer to him than where he'd left it and inside was something. Something in the place of what was to be there tomorrow. With a smell of flesh in the air and a bit of limp tissue hanging over at the neck was what looked. At first glance to be a thin latex fill of the face inside the cast. Only there was something off aside from the fact that it was there in the first place. What was lying inside the cast was much smaller than Crystal's face and was lined with a deep crimson liquid. A child's severed face. Shiny. Red and raw.